Please take your seats. We are about to begin the program. And take a moment to silence your cell phones. To date, 288 names were previously added to the wall. These are FDNY members who have succumbed to their illness as part of the rescue and recovery of Box 558087 World Trade Center. As of today's ceremony, September 6, 2023, 43 additional FDNY members will be added. This brings the total post 9-11 members added to the wall to 331. Will everyone please rise? spacious skies for amber waves of gray for purple mountains majesty above the fruited plains America America God shed his grace on thee and crown thy good with brotherhood from sea to shining Let us pray. Today, O oh Lord, we come together to pray as one. Oh, we pray for different parts of the members who are here. First of all, we pray for those who have died and whose names are being affixed on the wall back here in headquarters. You gave them a privilege of bearing your cross. But for those who accepted it, as they all did, you were with them to help them carry it up the hill of Calvary. And now they are with you, and with you forever. Secondly, Lord, we'd like to pray for those who are their caregivers throughout their illness. And the ones I'm talking about are the family members, the family members who are there day in and day out, who are there during the day and during the night to make sure their loved ones was taken care of. That, too, is a part of carrying the cross. You, too, carried that cross. And as long as you accepted that, the Lord was with you to assist you in carrying that cross. We pray also for members of their companies, because so many of the members were also caregivers. They were there quite often. They made telephone calls. They did whatever they could to make it easy on the families. So we pray for them. They, too, carried your cross. As long as they accepted it, you were with them and led them safely up the hill of Calvary. We pray, especially today, again, for the families. In just a short while, you'll be entering at the headquarters, and one of you will be carrying a white flag, white, a white um, uh, white um, plant and as you come in as the name is called as you come forward I ask you to take that plant and to kiss it 
and play, puss played it, place it on the table near where your husband, your father, your grandfather, whoever is the loved one, plant it near him as a sign of your love and a love that will always be there. Heavenly Father, we thank for bringing us all together today for this ceremony. Help us always to love the ones we lost because they are with the Father loving us. And as always, we ask this as your loving children. Amen. Detail recap. Everyone, please be seated. Good afternoon. Welcome to the hundreds of you who are here with us today to mark a remembrance, an annual memorial in honor of those who gave their lives in the most honorable of ways in service of others. This year, we have added the names of 43 heroes to our World Trade Center Memorial. The numbers continue to grow, and so does our heartbreak. For the families of these fallen members, thank you for being here. Thank you for letting us show up for you with our love and our respect and our support. These are your losses, but we grieve alongside you. If you look around today, you will see firefighters, EMTs, paramedics, fire marshals, inspectors, and civilian staff who, like your loved ones, offer themselves day in and day out in service of the FDNY, and they are all here to support you. You will also see their somber expressions and their pain. They come here today both in grief and mourning, but also in friendship and love. Your FDNY family, we are with you, and we will always be with you. We will never forget in either our words or our actions. Our vow to never forget your loved ones is ingrained in all of us forever. In just a few days, we will mark the 22nd anniversary of the World Trade Center attacks. Time is passing slowly and quickly at the same time. We continue to show up for our jobs, our families, and our responsibilities. We do the things we have to do, and yet we never forget to remember those who sacrificed and those who continue to do so today. 22 years ago next week, we, lo we lost 343 members. The losses, as we all know far too well, did not end that day. They've continued to grow in the two decades since. Our members are still dying of illnesses sustained because of the brave and selfless time they spent at the World Trade Center site. More than 341 men and women who served our department searching for their FDNY brothers and sisters have lost their lives because of that honorable and noble work. In the fire department, we live steeped in tradition with our plaque dedications, our street renamings, and memorial outings, and here, a memorial wall. These events remind us of the promises we made to all of you, of the never-ending dedication we have made to the memory of your loved ones. These events are symbols of our support, and at their core, they are based in love and respect. The fallen leave a legacy their lives will, your lives will honor. Mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, aunts, cousins, uncles, and grandparents. They lived with honor and humility and bravery. And that is how they spent their last days fighting cancers and other illnesses that would eventually take their lives. Let us remind us that life is short. Let us take a moment to slow down and look around, see the people who stand next to us and love them, laugh with them, and cry with them too. A reminder that there is joy to find in every day if you look for it by remembering the joy, the love, and the laughter, and the memories that your loved ones brought to our lives. 
Today, we remember. We remember the promises we made to never forget, and we offered that vow to the 43 families gathered here. We are here for you today, and we are here for you always. May God bless our fallen and their families. May God bless every member of this great department, especially those still struggling with illness, and may God continue to bless the FDNY. Thank you. that is larger than this room and there's a loyalty that's deeper than mere sentiment and the music higher than the songs that I can sing stuff of earth competes for the allegiance I owe only to the giver of all good things so if I stand let me stand on the promise that you will pull me through If I can, let me fall on the grace that first brought me to you. And if I sing, let me sing for the joy that has born in me these songs. And if I weep, let it be as a man who is longing for his own. There's more that dances on the prairies than the wind More that pulses in the ocean than the tide There's a love that is fiercer than a love between friends More gentle than a mother's when a baby's at her side There's a loyalty that's deeper than mere sentiment And the music higher than the songs that I can sing Stuff of earth competes for the allegiance I owe only to the giver of all good things So if I stand, let me stand on the promise That you will pull me through And if I can, let me fall on the grace That first brought me to you If I sing, let me sing for the joy that is born in me these songs. And if I weep, let it be as a man who is longing for his own. And if I weep, let it be as a man who is longing for his own. Welcome. I want to thank everyone for coming here today to honor the legacy of these members who lost their lives because they cared so deeply about helping people that most likely they never met. That is what we did then and what we continue to do every day in the FDNY. I want to give a very special welcome to all the families who are here to honor their loved ones as we put their names on our, our September 11th wall. At all our funerals, plaque dedications, and memorial services, firefighters, EMTs, paramedics, fire protection inspectors, and civilian employees, and of course, family and friends show up and fulfill, fulfill our promise to never forget. More than two decades later, September 11th continues to be a difficult and painful time for all of us. 
as we approach the 22nd anniversary of the attacks, we also know the number of members who passed from World Trade Center illness continues to rise. It is hard to comprehend that the number of members lost from the WTC-related illness since that fateful day is approaching 343 that we lost on September 11th, 2001. Here at headquarters, our memorial wall grows with more names being added each year. We host this ceremony each year with sorrow, but we do it because it shows the families that even though their loved ones are gone, they are never forgotten. They are always in our thoughts and they're always a part of the FDMY family. The 43 members we honor today were selfless. They responded to the World Trade Center to save lives, help identify the missing, and bring comfort to families who were looking for their lost loved ones. They are true heroes of incredible character. They did not think of themselves as they ran towards the still smoldering ruins in Lower Manhattan. As they began their efforts to find the missing and remove debris and twisted steel, they gave the department and New Yorkers a chance to heal. I'm sure they would do it again, because that's who they were and that's who we are. At the FDNY, when we take our oath, we pledge to protect the people of this city. We show up to help, no matter how daunting or impossible the task may seem. These 43 individuals possess bravery and dedication. They honored their oath, and they embodied what it means to be a member of the FDNY. May this lasting tribute help us remember those who thought of only helping others and remind us of our promise to never forget. God bless all of you, and God bless the FDMY. Thank you.
To the families, and the men and women of the FDNY and all the first responders on the day of September 11th, at that time I was a lieutenant in the New York City Police Department. My younger brother was a sergeant. I remember watching the buildings collapse. We lost cell service. He and I were unable to communicate for some time. Watching friends walk in the area, Officer Perry, some of the names I think about that went into the building. The uniqueness of the moment that even under that attack, there were those who believed so much in the role of first responders, they did not flee away from the danger, they ran towards it. And when our center of trade collapsed that day, we often reflect on the 11th. But I also remember September 12th. We got up. The entire country was watching New York City. We were the epicenter of the most hate that you witnessed on our soil. But we responded not by buckling to terrorism and terror, but by responding with the level of bravery that we are known for. And the men and women who responded to the site to continue to search and rescue, to continue to find the bodies of our fallen loved ones and peers, watch the deterioration of their lives throughout the years. 43 individuals we added to this wall today. And there's no consolation, no words. There's nothing we can say to replace the pain that they sustained and experienced throughout the years as we move further and further away from the September 11th attacks. But they were heroes, not only those who were in the building, but those who responded after. And they stood tall in what I say over and over again. This is the greatest country on the globe. And the Pledge of Allegiance that we've made over and over again to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. We are one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. They not only stated that, they lived that. And I'm proud to be the mayor of New York City, the greatest city on the globe. And it's because we have some of the greatest first responders on the globe. God bless the city, God bless this country, and God bless the 43 names and the families that we are going to place on the wall today. Thank you very much. Uncover. Some years ago, when I was a student, I asked a teacher, what are the most important words in the Bible? I thought he would say, love your neighbor, honor your parents. Surprisingly, he said the most important words, and it was the day after. Because what you do the day after shows how sincere you were the day before. On September 11th, we made a promise not to forget those who were lost that day. But we also made a promise not to forget those who were lost since that day. In Hebrew, the word for our legacy is nachala. It comes from the word nachal that means river. Because a legacy is ongoing as the river. It doesn't come to an end when the person's life comes to an end. Some years ago, my mother said to me, always remember, some people may be smarter than you. Some people may be richer than you. Some people may even be better looking than you. But none of them will be you. We come here and recall all of those individuals, and we say, no one will be them. So when we arrive in the next world and we are asked by our loved ones, what did you do 
after we left this world, we will proudly answer, we never forgot you. We didn't forget you on September 11th, and we didn't forget you after September 11th, the day after. Amen. Detail Rico. I'd ask everyone to stay in your seats while the ceremonial members transition to our next portion of the ceremony.
firefighter Dennis J. Komar, engine 151, March 31st, 2014. EMS Captain Faye Bauman, Station 58, October 17th, 2020. EMS Lieutenant Gloria Gordon, Station 50, September 10th, 2021. Lieutenant Bowden Malmbeck, Marine 9, January 5th, 2022. Firefighter Russell Feliciano, Ladder 111, January 10th, 2022. Dr. Sabina B. Ostolsky, Bureau of Health Services, June the 10th, 2022. EMT Stephen Thorson, Station 23, June 19th, 2022. Lieutenant Arthur J. Darby, Marine 9, June the 20th, 2022. Firefighter Richard C. Tashik, Engine 307, July 3rd, 2022. Supervising Fire Marshal James E. Devery, Manhattan Base, August the 18th, 2022. Firefighter Edward V. Ronick, Engine 229, August the 19th, 2022. Mm -hmm. Captain Paul W. Schmalzrud, Bureau of Training, August the 24th, 2022. Firefighter Ronald J. Kirshner, Ladder 154, August the 25th, 2022. Firefighter William M. Hughes, Ladder 123, September 18th, 2022. Firefighter Greg Lawrence, Engine 308, September 17th, 2022. Battalion Chief Joseph A. McKee, Battalion 41, September 18, 2022. <laughs> Lieutenant James F. McCauley, Jr., Battalion 23, September 20, 2022. Battalion Chief Stephen J. Garrity, 
Rescue Battalion, September 21st, 2022. Firefighter George J. Triptree, Ladder 173, September 23rd, 2022. Firefighter Peter A. Chiotto, engine 226, November 26, 2022. Firefighter John F. McDonald, ladder 118, November 27, 2022. Battalion Chief Brian E. O'Flaherty, Battalion 9, December 3rd, 2022. Firefighter Michael J. Ariaga, Engine 301, December 5th, 2022. EMT, Patricia Scaduto, EMS Operations, January 2nd, 2003, 2023. Firefighter Thomas D. Healy, Ladder 25, December 22nd, 2022. Lieutenant Michael G. Hans, Engine 302, January 4th, 2023. <phone rings> Lieutenant Donald J. Kelly, Ladder 161, January 13th, 2023. Firefighter Thomas J. McDougall, Ladder 117, January 13th, 2023. Marine Wiper, Bruce Pete, Marine 1, February 2nd, 2023. Lieutenant Joseph Brosey, Engine 88, February 3rd, 2023. <phone rings> Battalion Chief James J. Hanley, Battalion 7, February 4th, 2023. Firefighter Victor A. Cantelmo, Engine 236, February 20th, 2023. <phone rings> Battalion Chief Vincent G. Lyons, Battalion 43, February 23rd, 2023. Paramedic Peter L. Bushy, Station 40, February 23rd, 2023. <phone rings> P 
paramedic Paul Daniels, Station 16, March 14, 2023. Captain Gary A. Nibro, engine 166, April 4th, 2023. <phone rings> Firefighter James C. Major, engine 293, April 8th, 2023. Firefighter Douglas F. Harkins, Ladder 29, April 21st, 2023. <phone rings> Lieutenant Richard Kobe, Ladder 133, May 14th, 2023. Fire Marshal Carl J. Cedarholt, BFI Special Operations Command, May 22nd, 2023. <phone rings> Lieutenant James J. Burns II, Engine 46, May 26, 2023. Firefighter Michael T. Costa, Engine 328, June 3rd, 2023. <phone rings> Captain Neil R. Ferro, Engine 227, June 4th, 2023. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. We're going to offer the traditional threefold blessing that belongs to all faith traditions. I'll say it in Hebrew. Monsignor Delendic will say it in English, unless you want to switch. Next time. Okay. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he let his face shine upon you and show you his mercy. May he turn his countenance towards you and give you his peace. Amen. Amen.
Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the mayor, <laughs> chief of department, and the entire FDNY, we would like to thank you for attending today's very special dedication ceremony. This concludes the ceremony. We will never forget.